thing that blew me away about this story was how surprising it was. Who knew that any Native Americans fought in the Civil War, let alone 30,000? And what I found out was that of all the tribes, only one came in on both sides, and that was the Cherokee. Well, the question for me was, why? How could that have happened? People think of it. They think of the Cherokee, they think of the Trail of Tears, they think about the American government that so ruthlessly uh, um, sent them west. That's true. But what they don't know is that within the, the Cherokee Nation itself, there was an unfolding story of remarkable drama that involved two extraordinary men, two leaders of the tribe. One of them was John Ross, who was the primary chief of the Cherokee. He was the equivalent of the president of the Cherokee for 40 years, for the entire period of this book, pretty much. The other was a man named The Ridge, for he who walks on mountaintops. He was a Cherokee warrior, big strapping man, six foot two, uh, that command any room. His voice could shake the leaves off the trees. And then there's John Ross, Scottish, five and a half feet tall, wore a stovepipe hat, spoke no Cherokee whatsoever, spoke English with a Scottish brogue. Uh, and he was the leader of the Cherokee, even though he could not speak the Cherokee language. Only the Ridge could speak the Cherokee language. They could not speak each other's language. And yet together, uh, they had created the modern Cherokee Nation. What people don't realize is that there's another story within that, and it has to do with these dynamic two leaders. One saying, hell no, we're never gonna go. And who can't believe in that, you know? There was another side to it, which said, Let's be realistic. Uh, and huge power, maybe they're unstoppable, maybe we should leave. Both sides were brilliant. They had their points. They happened to be in opposition. And that opposition led to tremendous tension. They did this together. They disagreed about uh, um, the removal. They fought individually. They fought collectively. And it was the greatest tragedy of the Cherokee Nation's history when they, their factions turned on each other and then did their best to destroy each other in the great national civil war.